this is David. Today we're going to talk about deploying MySQL databases on Microsoft Azure. MySQL is a popular relational open source database software uh, and it is a full feature of Microsoft Azure. Uh, in the past it was part of the Azure, Microsoft, Azure Marketplace and you had to pay extra for that and uh, you could do that or you could also create a a virtual machine and install MySQL on that. But now we can create a new MySQL database simply by navigating to the Azure portal and clicking this create a resource button in the top left. And then selecting databases and Azure database for MySQL. Doing so brings up this dialog which we call a blade in which case we can uh, put the, the properties of our MySQL server. So I'm going to create one here. I'm going to call it DG test MySQL. I'll put this in a resource group. Resource groups, as you remember, were are simply a logical grouping of resources in Azure so that you can manage them together. So I'll create one. I'll call it DG test MySQL RG. And here I select the type of database I want. I can have either a blank database or restore one from a backup. I'll provide a username for my admin user. I'll make this DGRD. And the password for that user has to adhere to the rules shown here on the right. So I'll type in my password. And then I'll type it in again. I'll specify the location of my database. East US is fine for me. I happen to be in Chicago, Illinois, but you want to think about where your data is going to be used, what applications are going to consume it, what users are going to manage it, and where those applications, people, or other resources are located. You can specify a version of MySQL. I'll take the latest version. And then a pricing tier. The pricing tier essentially tells you how powerful a machine this is going to run on. So I'll take the default here, general purpose to vCore. You can see the cost of that if I let it run for 30 days, 24 hours a day, it would be approximately $131. And then I click Create. This will take a few minutes, so I am going to pause the video at this point and come back after this server is created. Now that my my SQL database or server has been created, I can navigate to it and this notification here will let me take me right to it. I could also come down here and open up the resource groups and search for it that way if I want to. Um, it's in uh, what I call DG test MySQL RG and find it that way. Either way, and there's some good information in here. For example, this name of the server is here, which I can copy to my clipboard with that. Uh, the username, SQL Server version number. Some of these things are read-only. Others I can change if I click on them. Uh, the um, and To connect to it, a simple way to connect to it is by using this Cloud Shell. If I click on the Cloud Shell icon up here in the top toolbar, it opens up a Bash cell, Shell right within my Azure portal. And in here, I can connect to my MySQL server. To do that, I've actually written a blog post on this. A brief mention of MySQL, it's at my blog, davidgr.com, and there's the URL. But the syntax for connecting to a MySQL server is this, MySQL-H, hostname, dash U, username, dash P. So what I want to do is I want to replace hostname with this and username with that. And I've done so right here. So let me grab this and paste it into here and press enter. The dash P says prompt me for my password, which I'll enter now. And there I'm now I'm connected. And now I could do things like show databases right here. You see that this server comes with one, two, three, four databases by default. And I can create a new database, create database dg test db right here. And now 
when I show databases, now I have five databases in here. If I want to make my new DG test DB the default database, then I'll use use DG test DB. Once connected, I can do things uh, with the database. Like for example, I could create a new table called persons with these one, two, three, four, five columns in it. And I could insert data into here using code like this. Right there. And retrieve data, select star from persons right here, and that sort of thing. Uh, if I want to connect to this from my application, I go up to the Azure portal, open up the MySQL database, and I can see under connection strings right here, there are a list of connection strings under various, using various data connection technologies that I can use. I can copy to my clipboard, fill in the information here, like the username and the password, the database name, the host name, all of that is available inside of here on the overview tab. In this video, I've shown you how to create a new MySQL database and start using it. I'm David. Thank you for watching.